Greetings fellow gardeners, this is Paul, and today I'm really excited to share this new plant that I just purchased. It's Selenocerus chrysocardium, also known as the Golden Heart Epiphyllum. So it comes from San Marcos Growers. It was $60, which was pretty expensive, but when I saw it, I just had to have it. You can see it just gets huge. It's an epiphytic cactus that's been reclassified to Selenocerus and it's native to Chiapas, Mexico. Now, typically people grow this as a house plant, probably because it's spineless. It's really soft too. But what I find interesting about it is that it's actually really hardy. It can take temperatures down to 25 to 30 degrees. And the only thing that will probably damage it is too much intense sunlight. You can see this plant gets really large in time, over six foot branches. And they're actually not leaves, but they're stems that are modified. So these are not leaves. They're actually called calidids, I believe. So really interesting. It's just modified stem. Now you can see the flowers get huge. They're huge white. It's a shy bloomer. But what's so unique about this variety is it has golden stamen filaments. So I'm interested to see if I could, one, get this to bloom outdoors in Southern California. So I haven't decided quite where I'm going to put this under a really large tree or actually under the shade structure is what I'm thinking. Now it does produce a fruit, as you can see here. The fruit looks small and I doubt if it's very tasty, but it'd be interesting to see if I could cross some of this with a dragon fruit. So. That's what I'm interested in. That's the main reason why I purchased this. Definitely would make some unique variety of dragon fruit. I don't know if it would taste good if I could use this as a pollen source. So that's the goal. And it's just a stunning, stunning variety. Selenocerus chrysocardium. So you can see here the nursery where I purchased it from had it under a shade cloth and it got still got some damage from the sun. That's a sunburn right there, see it? And I'm 5'8", and this is over six feet, at least. So it's getting really tall, lots of very vigorous growth. And I actually believe I'm gonna put it in a pot right here, and I'm gonna let it climb up in here. I thought that would be really beautiful. And it seems like this is the type of lighting it would want, really light, very little direct sunlight, mostly indirect. So that's my plan, is I'm gonna pot it here, I believe, or put it under a tree, I haven't decided yet. But I think it'd be pretty cool to let it grow up on there because it just seems like it's so prolific, it's just gonna really, really take off. So I'm very excited to have this in the collection. Give us a like and a subscribe. Hopefully you'll get to see or grow your own Golden Heart Epiphyllum, Selenocerus, Chrysocardium. All right, have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. Thanks for watching. Until next time.